Hello everyone, today we are going to do multiple fixed camera. Why do we need this? Okay, let's see what will happen. This person no don't just keep walking and walking, but then... What has happened? We could never know, right? If the camera does not change the direction. So, yeah, let's fix this and save the person. And after this tutorial, you will be able to do this. Yeah, and see that hidden alien. So let's start with the simple program without any camera. I have this plain house. There are three rooms, pink, green, and blue. And actually inside, there is a person who that can walk around, but right now we cannot see where the person is. And for this person, I can also walk up, down, left, right. Okay, so to add fixed camera style like in the Resident Evil, there are mainly two steps. First, we have to find out where each camera should be. Second, add triggers to change the camera view. We are going to need two camera nodons for this, which are camera position and camera target. How this works is that the camera position is like your eyes and like the target is what you are looking at, like what you are facing. Yeah, basically the idea is that when the person is in the first room, I should put the camera like this. But when the person has moved to the second room, maybe I move the camera position and camera target like this. So that like, I can see the view from here looking towards this direction. And yeah, I can see the whole room. And like in the third area, I may need one more camera. Like let's say here and here. So what I can see here is like this whole pink room. Okay. Okay, let's start with this hallway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try moving the camera position here. And then I'm going to move camera target here. Let's test. Oh, so this is what it looks like. The camera position is too low. Why is it too low? Because I'm seeing the person fit. No, I want to see. I want to move it slightly higher. So let's do it. Okay. Now the camera position is quite low, right? So we need to move it up. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, now I think it looks much better. Then we have to take note of all the positions of both camera target and camera position. I'm going to the camera node on. Yeah, so at this step, I have to note down the position, which is negative one, three, zero. Then I also need to memorize the target position as well, which is at negative 1, 0 0.4 and 3.6. So now we have got the position for the first room. Let's try the second room. So maybe I move the camera to here and then move the target to that side. Because my purpose is that I want to be able to see this room. Okay, let's try. Let's say that I'm satisfied with the camera position of the second room. So I'm going to note like the position of all these cameras, which is like negative 0.4, 3, and 3.6. And then yeah, I'm also going to do the same thing with the third room. Like this. And then check the camera and then note it down. So we have in total three camera positions and target right. Now we need to set up the flags to tell which one is currently activated. So I'm going to create three flags. Again, like at this step, if you prefer to use marker, you can also use that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to create three flags. The first flag is for moving the camera to this room. The second flag is for moving the camera to this room. And the third one is for moving the camera to the last room. What is the position for the first camera? It is negative 1, 3, 0 0.4. So I'm going to need three constants. Here are the coordinates of the camera positions of the first room. So we only need to input this into the camera when this flag is true. So I'm going to add multiplication sign here. And then I'm multiplying x value with this flag. 
then aim to the camera. I'm doing the same for the Y axis as well. And also for the C axis. And we are repeating the same thing with the camera targets. The coordinates of the targets of the first camera is negative 1.4 and 3.6. So I'm going to add those three. And again, we are going to input this into the camera target only if this flag is on. So we need multiplication sign. And then one of the inputs to those signs is flag and the constant. And we input this into the camera target node on X, Y, and Z. So this means that when the first fact is true, we will use the position and the target like this. Okay, let's set that on the start, we should use the first camera. Then I'm going to add state change and then on start. Then I input this one to the on flag. Let's take a look. It looks incorrect, but why? That's because all the inputs here are relative to the current position of the camera. So the current position of the camera is this 10.8 plus the X input just now. But we do not want this 10.8, right? So we need to add offset to remove this 10.8. So I'm going to change here to be negative 10.8. And this one to negative 3 and negative 2. If there are no inputs to the camera position at all, the camera will be placed at the center. Okay, okay, let's fix the camera target as well. So I'm going to the settings and then set offset. This tends to be the negative value of the position. Okay, so I think now we are ready. Let's let's see if our first room camera is correct or not. Yay! It works as expected. Let's try to configure the second room's camera. So I'm going to do the same thing. I need constants and multiplication sign. But I have to change the constant values to be the coordinates of the second room camera instead, which are negative 0.4. Then I'm going to connect this flag to the multiplication signs. Then I feed this input into the camera. So now when the second flag is on, right? We have to turn off the first flag. And then the position will be moved to this value. Yes. Let's repeat the same thing with camera target. I'm going to change this into the target position of the second camera which are negative 3.6 and 7.6 okay let's link this flag into modification sign and then the output from the modification nodons to the camera target x y and z Okay, now this time instead of testing the first camera, we are going to test the second one. Okay, let's start. Yeah, this is what we want. I'm trying to walk the person up. Yay. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing with the third camera. Let's test the third camera. Yeah, this seems correct. We can see the full pink room. So yeah, we have finished setting up the camera. Second, let's change the camera automatically. So basically, so the basic idea is that 
when I'm in this room, I will use camera 1 and when I'm moving to this room, I will use camera 2 and when I walk into here, I will use camera 3. Here we need triggers to change the camera and I'm going to use the touch sensor node on for that. So I'm adding the touch sensor. So basically when a person touches here, I should change the camera to the second camera. I'm going to go to the settings and then check what I change this to be person. Yeah, let's keep visible for now for debugging. And output timing can be on touch. I also need to copy another one. Because when a person walks back from this room to the room below, right? We need to change the camera back. So yeah, we need this one. When this sends a signal, I will turn on the second flag. So here I need a wormhole entrance. Let me use B for the second flag. And yeah, for this touch sensor, I will change back to the first camera, right? So I need this wormhole to trigger the first flag. Let's name this A. Then let's look at here. When I go across this line, I want to change the camera to be the third camera. So I need more touch sensor. When the person is inside this room, I should use the second camera which is wormhole in front. I have to change the to the third camera via wormhole in front C. Yeah, let's remove this on start link first. And let's say that now I received the signal A. Now I have to change the flag values based on signals from A, B, and C. So here I need wormhole exits A, B, and C. And when I receive a signal from A, I should turn on the first flag. But I turn off the other two. And yeah, for the exit C, I have to turn on the third flag. But turn off the first two. But right now, at the start of the program, right, we do not have any initial camera. So for this on start, we have to connect to the initial camera, which, which is the first one. Yeah, so now the first camera is activated. But after I touch the touch sensor, the next one. Yeah, now I'm using the second camera. But then when I'm touching the third touch sensor, yay, I get this view instead. And when I walk back, I can also change the camera view. Yes! That's it for this tutorial. But, but this is what you will see in the future tutorial. Okay, so this is the third person view. But after I have entered the house, it becomes a fixed camera view. Yes. So, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe not to miss any future tutorials. And yeah, so... See you next time. Bye-bye.